Hello and welcome back to Mix Mix. This is round two pools, my second match. I split my first one and this time I'm playing against Tracer, uh, another one of the people who finished uh, first in their group. And we are playing the Hinterlands mix for this game. The four games will all be from different mixes and I think I've gotten Hinterlands in every single match so far. Um... So, what do we have? We have stables as the draw. We have monastery and temple as the trashing options, both kind of on the weaker side. There's no villages, so we get to play one terminal. Which is probably going to be Haggler, I would think. Um, so, I think we're going to go... I don't think we really want a temple. Could just go silver monastery, or we could go double silver, pick up the monastery later. We do have the pouch, which makes that a little bit more tenable. I'll grab a silver at the very least. I don't know if we're going to be able to do too much with Artificer here. There is Triumph, but it's going to be hard to get too many gold or uh, gains not golds i was looking at tunnel so i said golds but gains i mean tunnel is a way to get some more gains uh, in conjunction with artificer but i don't know like how extensively we can really take advantage of that we're gonna have like enough draw we get like trashing out our coppers and then stuffing our deck with golds to combine with our stables you know would potentially allow us to either Double province or province triumph, but I would think that the just double provincing would be. Oh wait, no, we can't double province if Hagler is our. Oh no, we've got the pouch, right? Yeah, so we could double province Hagler as the terminal. Hagler, of course, increases gains as well. So maybe triumph does end up working out. So Tracer opens Nomad Camp. Maybe they're trying to hit five for stables. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna just grab another silver. I think I prefer Hagler to Nomad Camp. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the monastery now. Let me get the stables here. This is more money than we need. Um, we It's too bad. I, like, I have seven here, and I have plus buy, but buying a second monastery I don't really think makes sense. I think we're just going to take another stables and not take advantage of the rest of our money, unfortunately. Okay, well, maybe now we want to. Do we? We'd rather buy a copper or a monastery. I don't really want a tracker. That's not the terminal I'm interested in. I think, oh man. I guess I'll take the copper. Second monastery. I don't know. It's. Yeah, I don't. Quite believe in that. Pretty, pretty bad shuffle that one. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm jealous. I wonder if I'm meant to discard Pouch here because, well, no, I'm having a stage trash anyway. No, there's still very little chance. Yeah, okay. So we are going to want to pick up that terminal at some point, but I, I think we've got plus buy from the pouch, so I think 
just continuing to grab the stables while we can is probably better. It's possible that we actually end up winning the stable split here if we have a really good turn. I haven't been keeping... Oh, gosh. Okay, never mind. This really could have gone a lot better. A lot better. Yes, indeed. Funny if we discarded three. So it comes out, we, we have one, four, five, we draw two. I guess it's slightly worse to play the stables than to not play it. So I guess I won't. Um, I guess we want to get that Haggler, um, if that is the terminal that we're going to play with. Yeah, let's just go Haggler Silver, I guess. I am first player in this game, but it's not really played out to where I have the advantage as a consequence. Had some less than ideal shuffles there. Oh, uh, are we guaranteed? So we're going to draw nine cards. We do have another stables. I think we can find the pouch again. Hope. I don't think it's guaranteed though. I guess with the Haggler, it's not as urgent that we get the pouch back. <sighs> I think that might actually be more important than the silver. Not totally sure. Okay, we do get it back for sure. Or would have. So that's good. All right. So do we just take go ahead and take province at this point? Probably. So if we go province artificer, we then take gold, silver, and we get to trash four coppers. Um, which means we're steady state in terms of cards in our deck. But the Artificer isn't a stop card, so that's good. I'm wondering at what point we triumph. I don't think it's now. Because if we did triumph, we'd only have the three cards. wouldn't be so good. There is a thing you can do, I guess, where you gain just like some copper with Artificer and then you trash copper with Monastery and use that to fuel the Triumph. That's only a good idea if like your draws don't, you know, cause the top decking to be really bad. Um, but Could work out. Tunnel. Okay. Going for the the gold gain with Artificer. Presumably. Um Does the order matter here? Are we gaining anything with the Artificer? If we are, we probably want to shuffle first anyway. So, yeah, I think we still play the stables first as well. Right, 
so do we want to use the artificer? So like we could we could just top deck a copper. We want, the monastery only has one copper to trash anyway though. Things are going to get a little awkward. If we were going to triumph this turn, we would take a copper, play Hagler, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen coins. Sixteen coins makes it pretty tempting to just take double province. But supposing we didn't, province, copper, gold from the Hagler, and the estate. Um, is four VP chips, and then we do get to trash the estate the next turn. Uh, I think, honestly, that the... Well, I think I would rather just double province. And then the, I think we take artificers rather than golds. So we could definitely dud here. That was going to be a risk no matter what we did. We don't. Yeah, so Tracer's setting up the, the triumph thing. Is it Province Triumph? Or, or yeah, it's that way. But the Triumph wasn't really any better than, than a Province anyway. Okay, so do we want to use the Artificer now? Like we could, well, I don't like the idea of top decking a tunnel. Top decking, a, top decking a copper could be okay. Like, we're reasonably likely not to have a great turn in general here, so taking a triumph this turn could make sense. We could discard Hagler pro double province and take a silver instead. I think, I think I'm just going to take the copper. You're going to have to discard the pouch. Which is annoying. Um, now let's let's do this first. That's four of our five stables. So we do have a stables down there. We were to gain two coppers on top of our deck, and we'd be triggering a pretty bad shuffle with this stables. Alternatively, we use, we gain copper now, we draw it with this artificer. We don't gain anything. Still discarded four treasures, though. Hmm. The problem is we don't have the plus buy. We're less likely to get it if we add more stuff to the shuffle. So I think what I'm going to do instead is play the stables first. Damn it, didn't find it. Okay. Um, I could actually gain an artificer here. Do 
three, four, five. And then we can trash the copper. Um, I guess it didn't. We didn't actually need the haggler if we're just going to triumph anyway. Or is that what we're going to do? Should I actually bite just by province? Tracer's not realistically going to be able to double province. So I gained. I'll have gained. Three cards. Yeah, the Triumph isn't actually that good, I guess. Without the plus buy. It would be. But. I wonder if I should actually trash a Silver here. It's possible. I'm going to do it. I think. Well, that was a straight up dud. Okay, we can't use the Artificer here unless we're just going to triumph. I think I would rather hope to find, well, Hope to find a stables like that. Yes. Okay. That is most of our artificers, but if we can, t I mean, if we can take even like one province, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Top decking a copper. We can discard the pouch. I mean, the, the silver, not the pouch. We can keep the pouch. Yeah. All right. I'll take a copper, I guess. Another copper. Sure. Take another copper. Yes. Province. Artificer, Triumph, and I think we're in pretty dang good shape at this point. Tracer takes a province, puts him at 28. It's going to be hard for him to get a 9-point Triumph to even tie. That's a lot of cards think he can do that. I mean, maybe if he double triumphs, if he finds his nomad camp and and his pouch. Triple triumphs? No, you'd have to double. It'd have to be double because he has to buy the province. But like having to gain the extra cards with Artificer makes it harder. He should know that I'm not necessarily lined up for a dud because I didn't play all my stables. So I think it's in his interest to go for any kind of win opportunity that he might have. I do think that the Haggler has been better than the Nomad camp like pretty easily. Um, the, I mean, obviously, you know, Tracer got the Nomad camp a lot earlier than I got the Haggler, but that has worked out. Gain, I'm gaining, gaining multiple cards of the Artificer by doing the tunnel thing, of course, is good. Might, might be enough that a single like if Tracer can do it again and still hit Province, that might be enough that a single Triumph is gonna is is good enough. But then again, can Tracer do that again and hit Province? And does Tracer even have enough? Well, okay, he definitely has a tunnel on top of his deck because he just put it there with the other Artificer. So that's not in question. Well, 
he just barely made it. Damn. Okay. Well played. I'm surprised. I, I, yeah, I really did not think his, he would be capable of doing that. I mean, I think he had to get pretty lucky to, to see both of the artificers there, because he only had two in his entire deck, and he saw the Nomad Camp. Well, he didn't need to see... He needed, only needed to see one of the Nomad Camp of the Pouch. Um, but yeah, I think... I would think I was favored there. But, um, but I could be wrong. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. No, oh, he did see both of his plus buy cards because he bought the copper. The copper didn't matter, but he did buy the copper. Um, it was only one extra point, and he won by three, so it wouldn't have mattered if he hadn't, except insofar as he needed to hit eight and whatever other card may have not let him do that. But Okay, so... Um, church, that's our trashing. And... It looks like we can either do draw to X with, like... Watchtower is the draw card. Reducing hand size with Church, Merchant Guild, maybe Native Village. Or we can go for Alchemist. Still probably playing for Merchant Guild Payload. I think Church Star Chart might be the opening here. Getting to top deck the Church I think is pretty good. Um, the advan so there's a lot of villages on this board, which makes me think that the DTX path might be better because we don't need to get the potion. Oh, I guess Scavenger also does more or less what Star Chart does, doesn't it? It's interesting. Um, and it does accelerate shuffles more. Yeah, I could definitely see that being the play. Feels kind of gross to like copy my opponent only because I got to see what they did, but I think that's a good idea. Okay, so now the question is, do we want to buy a three, another three cost? Or do we want to set aside a copper and buy a native village? Next turn... Um, we're going to have, at most, six coins, more likely four or five. I guess, um, question is, what do we want to buy with that? I think we probably already want a watchtower, and then we take a village, so I think we want to not set aside a copper. I don't think we need to hit five or six. It would be good to get another church as well. Maybe I should have done that first. Not exactly sure. So yeah, do we want Blessed Village or do we want Wandering Minstrel? That is another interesting question. I think I prefer Wandering Minstrel cycling me faster right now. That's it's a close call. Innovation. Okay, so... We revealed and discarded three coppers, four, five. Oh, the church is down there. Right. Okay, so I guess we need to draw with the watchtower first. 
to try to hit the church. And we did. All right, I think we, again, probably just want to buy a four cost. So let's, let's do that. That, I guess we top deck a copper, not exactly exciting, but, and now do we want a second minstrel or do we want a blessed village? I, I really don't know, but I think, um, I'm going to go with one more minstrel for the sifting. This would be probably a good time to pick up innovation. Top deck the watchtower or the minstrel? We do have two minstrels and only one watchtower, so I guess we top deck the watchtower. Um, how good is innovation here, though? There's no gainers. It does allow you to, like, buy a merchant guild, play it, and get more coffers off of it. Um... I'm not sure I have the vision for what innovation is doing here in general, though. But it does mean mm, maybe we should already put pick up a merchant guild. As opposed to innovation. Just don't. Like, if we buy the innovation now and we buy a merchant guild next turn and play it, like, we're probably not buying anything else with the merchant guild. Maybe a native village. But. Yeah, let's just grab a merchant guild. Okay, so I guess we want to look at this before we... Okay, top deck to Merchant Killed. We don't really want to trigger this shuffle, do we? Well, we have the Scavenger, I guess. Yeah, all right, let's do this then. <laughs> um... Okay, I kind of think we need another church. We might want another watchtower too. Yeah, because I was afraid of, although here I don't have my villages anyway. Uh, in general, I was afraid of the situation where I like put the hand the cards in my hand from church. And I don't have a way to get rid of them again. The second church will help with that. Do we church the watchtower? I guess we probably church the watchtower. Maybe we pick up a blessed village. I know the cards on the top of my deck are already pretty good. I think I'm going to go next turn. All right. Almost doesn't matter because where the minstrel is going to discard stuff anyway.
that's fine. That also doesn't matter. So we play. I guess we play Merchant Guild first. And. I guess we can go ahead and play the scavenger. There's not another terminal that we have to worry about. All right, so we have three coppers there. So we wanna... Six comp, we wanna set aside no cards, I guess? I guess? Right? We're going to draw three, yeah. Um, so we clearly want another Merchant Guild. We probably want another Village. Do we want that Village to be Blessed or Wandering? Probably Blessed at this point. Better. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I guess if I had a watchtower in my hand, I could trash the silver, but I don't. That is something to keep in mind with Merchant Guild, though, if we have excess buys, which we certainly didn't, you know, haven't, but going forward, we might. I forgot to check what mix this was. This was Seaside. That makes sense. Fortunately, Tracer does not have um, a, a watchtower with which to trash coffers, so it did not end up um, Oh, come on. Did not end up with the ability to like buy and trash copper, is what I was going to say, and thus didn't get another merchant guild. Yeah, so no watchtowers, huh? Okay. Well, I guess there's not much reason to discard the deck, though if we play the scavenger, we have to top deck the silver, which I also don't want to do. Like, we know we have watchtowers in there, we've got minstrels in there, like, it just makes more sense to, to not discard, I think. Man, that's frustrating. Um, now the question is, do we want to church this copper? I think not. Okay, so we go Merchant Guild, Native Village. I think that's the play here. Oh boy. Really? Apparently Tracer can't find Watchtower either. 
That's nice. Oh, come on! Two of my three cards down there are watchtowers. Like, what the heck? Do I need to take a third? Well, I probably don't need a third watchtower next turn. Is the... Ah. the turn after that's going to be the issue, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to friggin' do? A oh, frustrating shuffle. Yeah, Tracer drew deck. More or less. I guess the good news is it doesn't actually have that much money, but scary amount of coffers. Optic like Merchant Guild. Okay. All right. So the question is do we set aside or not? we set aside we could potentially pick back up and then church the card if we don't want to play it so i think do set aside okay so now do we set aside again we do have we should have one more native village i think maybe not maybe we've only got two of them bought one last turn i bought one the turn before but not the turn before that yeah so it's only the two uh, like what I'm worried about is setting aside another merchant guild. Right. But I guess if I set aside church, copper with church. Yeah, that's probably the thing to do anyway. Then I can set aside more crap next turn. Okay. Well. Is it is it safe for us to take the last two merchant guilds? How many buys does Tracer have? We both have four merchant guilds, so we both have five buys. So it's safe. We take two merchant guilds. We take, we, need, we probably do need another watchtower, unfortunately. Which doesn't leave us a lot of room to buy more villages, but I mean, it's possible that taking another, or taking two merchant guilds is actually incorrect. Hmm. 
We certainly want to take one Merchant Guild and one Watchtower. That's eight coins. This leaves us with six more. We don't take another... If we don't take a sixth Merchant Guild, we can take two more villages. That might be better. Um, we will have to spend all the coffers, so I guess we might as well do that now. Go Bless Village. Yeah, I'll take that now. Merchant Guild. Watchtower. Native Village. Not gonna take an extra copper, copper. That's too not good. This could definitely be a bad turn. Could definitely be. Oh, well, it looks like Tracer may not be having such a good time either. These are some awkward decks. I do kind of wonder whether that Alchemist thing would have actually paid off. The draw would be so much easier with Alchemists. I mean, it's it's slower, but as long as you can get your fair share of Merchant Guilds, you don't need as many Villages. I do wonder... Merchant Guild Native Village. Okay, I think I can take a tie here if I draw. If I play Native Village Scavenger Minstrel, I can guarantee that I draw. So that's what I should do. And let's set aside a card. <laughs> Figures. Top deck to native village. All right, do we church nothing here? Um, probably. We, I mean, we could church some merchant guilds. We know we have six buys. We know that, like, there's no way to get more buys. So innovation, I guess innovating a blessed, well, no, the blessed village, but if you're buying a blessed village, yeah, you're not gaining ground. Never mind. That doesn't matter. So um, we're going to have to take points. The question is, like, if we, if we set aside, like, two merchant guilds, do we expect... Because we're going to have to draw some villages to be able to play these merchant guilds anyway. Um, I don't know, maybe this plane, this actually wasn't correct. I mean, if I'd known I had a watchtower on top of my deck, but... Like, how many merchant guilds do we need in play for it to have a good turn? Um... Draw three cards. We know the top card is a native village. So we know we'll be able to play a minimum of two merchant guilds. We discarded a copper and a silver, so we've got some treasures out of the way. I don't know. I think I need to set aside at least one. As long as I wasn't doing that, maybe I'll just set aside two. Okay. We set aside a watchtower. We do want to pick that up. Um... But double set aside is pretty awkward. Let's play, play Blessed Village first. Minstrel. And now we don't need to pick the Watchtower up necessarily. It's good to know. We play Double Merchant Guild, Watchtower.
Let's set aside another merchant guild and then pick them up at the end. Draw more cards with this watchtower. Guess I didn't really need to do it that way, huh? <sighs> we pick up here, we can do some reaction trashing. So I think I will do that. Even though having the watchtower set aside has some benefit. Okay, so we know that Tracer has a maximum of six buys. Hitting, hitting six provinces is definitely not possible. So we don't have to worry about that. How many provinces do we want to buy? Five provinces isn't realistically possible. The, the more provinces we take, though, like the more you know, bad our deck gets. And we may want to spend some coins on... Um, something other than province. Like it could be correct to just take one province, store up more coffers. We're going to get 16 coffers from buys. We can safely take Blessed Village. We can safely take Wandering Minstrel without lowering piles. Um... Those basically are at cost in terms of coffers, break even. So I guess the question is, is that better? I think we need to store up some coffers though, not just break even on them. So I think we need to go like, I mean, we do need to take a province if we don't wanna, actually we're second player. So Tracer takes a losing tie. That's good to know. Um, so we could go like blessed, blessed, um, minstrel. And I guess we could take a take a fourth watchtower if. We take a province. I don't think I want to do that though. Oh man, this is so hard. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think maybe I take one minstrel province and two coppers, maybe. You go down two coffers and up so we go we go up to 30 coffers what what in what scenario i mean 30 30 four provinces is 48 we have 10 coins right now five from the merchant guild two from the scavenger well five from the merchant guild if we had them two from the scavenger five from treasures that we hope not to have um, if we had to take like six provinces, I guess if we had to take five provinces and leave one though, it wouldn't really matter, right? Tracer realistically can take at most like three provinces. So yeah, I think we take a province. I think that's correct. It's difficult though. I think I like the minstrel filtering now better than the boon. I'm not totally sure about that either. <sighs> yeah. Minstrel gives us information. Oh, and we can top deck it. I wasn't even thinking about that. I undercounted the coffers somehow. What did I do wrong there? 
That was not as good as I was thinking. We should maybe still be able to take five provinces, but I'm no longer confident of that. How did I undercount that? I got I gained, I had 16 coffers. I spent two down to 14. I should have gained. I have. I only had three marching kills in play. Right. I just miscounted. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Maybe taking the minstrel wasn't worth it. I'm not sure. Tracer at least has the ability to play all five merchant guilds, which is scary. If... I guess there's no point in worrying about it too much until Tracer does his buy phase, but... I'm wondering what happens if, like... If I can't hit five provinces... And like part of the question here is going to be like, do I trash copper to draw, or do I have to like try to keep the copper and squeeze every last coin out that I have? We know we've got like we had we have twelve coins in our actual coins in our deck, so I guess we just can't hit hit it. We've only got thirty eight coins, not forty. We can't hit five provinces. Tracer doesn't have a watchtower to trash copper with, so that will help. So if we take... Oh my god, he got Forest Gift. That's nasty. Oh, okay. So now Tracer might dud, and we should definitely trash the copper because we're probably playing to get another turn. Um, okay, so ultimately, we're gonna what we're gonna do is scavenger top deck a watchtower again. I think I want to draw this Merchant Guild first. Um, it's set aside this Merchant Guild and then pick it up later. Check one of you. One, two. I guess I didn't actually want to pick up a merchant kill, did I? Whoops. Whoopsie. Okay, we discarded silver in the province. Um. I'll pick up that merchant guild. Play you two. We play a watchtower now, we draw three cards. Of which we have like two coppers. The Merchant Guild, and maybe another plus village. I don't think so. What is that other card? Oh no! No, I think we gotta. 
So if we draw th through here, yeah, I think I think I, I want to be able to trash with the watchtower. Oh, okay, there is a blessed village. Fine. Um, what is this last card? That's a silver. So we could set it aside. If we think we're not actually going to use it this turn. Like, so our options are 32, 33, 34, 35, as much as 36. Oh, that means we can't actually buy Quad Province Duchy. Does that matter, though? I guess I shouldn't have set aside that copper. Well, I kind of need to, though. I don't know. Um, we buy Quad Province. We're up by three provinces. Tracer has six buys. Fairly likely to dud. Six buys so in the last province, we're up by two provinces, plus five duchies. Yeah, that that's more points than I can get, right? Just to calculate that a different way, 24 points, so I'm at 30. I could take an estate to be at 31. Um, Tracer gets a province, goes to 18, and then gets five duchies and is at 33. So I can't beat that. But Tracer has to have just as good of a turn to do that as to empty the provinces. So I guess I might as well take the provinces. So yeah, let's set aside the silver. And um, so... Uh, can I math? Let's see. Need 24. Now, the question is, should we take the estate? The estate is a difference maker in the case where Tracer has is one by short. Yeah, so we should, we should probably take the estate. We can take a copper too for good measure. I don't see why it would possibly matter, but we can do it. So yeah, it comes down. I, I if I had kept a couple more coppers, I think I still I would have had to not trash one of the coppers I gained with Watchtower last turn, and then get it all into hand and play it to be able to afford a duchy. And if I could have done that, then I would have been good to go. Although Tracer might have played the the previous buy phase differently anyway. But mostly it just comes down to whether Tracer does or not. If I had had a better start to my turn, the turn before, like my previous turn, when I set aside the two merchant guilds, um, I could have put myself in a better position for this end game. But uh, having to set aside the merchant guilds was pretty bad. Maybe if I... Okay, we're good. Are you gonna yeah, okay. Well we made it. Um that probably makes up for the like the previous game. Like I, I don't I don't think I was expected to win that game. Like I think Tracer was ahead uh up until towards the end. I'm not sure though. It's kinda hard to tell. Like the the decks were in until they weren't the decks were inconsistent enough that it was hard to say but um like overall i feel like the the outcome the the net outcome of these first two games has been reasonably just <laughs> i guess um okay so what mix is this this is hand mix 
Um, so we've got Goat Herd and Church for trashing. We could open with, excuse me, with a five. Um, we're definitely going to want to get thin so that we can draw with Menagerie. Uh, there's also Encampment, but Menagerie, like, it, even though Coven isn't, like, that strong here as an attack, especially with Lighthouse, it does play pretty nicely with Menagerie, so that's a consideration. Um, I'm kind of tempted to open with Coven, to be honest. Um, like, get a few curses in before Lighthouses get played. We can still borrow for a Church or a Goat Herd if we don't get three next turn. Maybe that's too greedy. We could also just open like cut purse. I mean, cut purse is fine. Ultimately, it kind of potentially helps Menagerie. And then do we get Church or Goat Herd? Like, Goat Herd is better for player two. Um, is Coven better enough than Cut Purse to mess around with borrowing? I think it might be. I'm really not sure. Eh, probably not. Let's just take the cut purse. I think... I think I take church here and then... Probably don't get a second church for a while, if ever. Like, Church. Tracer isn't playing a trasher in front of me. And, and Church, do, the delay of the trash does make Goat Herd worse. Um, like, in the, in the opening. So, that's another factor. Honestly, the Cut Purse attack probably isn't going to hurt very much because you're not, like, really trying to hit high price points. There's lots of good cheap cards. But, it hurts Church, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should have borrowed for Coven. I'm really not sure. If I had borrowed for Coven, I would have two here, I guess. Or maybe I wouldn't. I don't actually know how the hand ordering works. Maybe it's left to right, and maybe I would have had three. But regardless, okay. So double church. Okay. So we're certainly going to set aside an estate. Do we want to just buy a two cost? Set aside a copper. We are very likely to hit five if we do that. And we can go ahead and grab a coven. I think that's... I mean, I guess the question is, would we rather have like a second trasher or an encampment? And I... Don't exactly know the answer to that question. Um, having a second church with the menagerie draw would be good, probably. I 
if we don't hit five, I don't know that it's terribly important. How likely are we to hit five? Like if we see cut purse and one estate, we hit five. This is a fairly likely outcome. I don't, again, I don't even know that it's important, but yeah, let's. I mean, yeah, let's let's grab another church. Okay, well, that didn't remotely happen. Bottom deck the cut purse. This was pretty bad. Oh, is Tracer going for church crossroads? Interesting. That could work. Um, do we go ahead and take a menagerie, even though it doesn't really do anything right now? Probably doesn't do anything, at least. Yeah. I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Very, very reasonable that. Um, should we go ahead and take the coven? I think so. Like, I don't need to load up on them, but I think one coven will be good. My god, what a good shuffle, though. That was unreasonable. If I lose this game, it certainly won't because I got unlucky. Alright, I think we go for another Menagerie, even though now it's really unlikely that it goes off, but, you know, that's ultimately what we want to be doing. No, yeah, okay. We're never going to curse. That's fine. It's still payload that will work better with Menagerie than silver or gold anyway. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? Menagerie's never going to go off. They have Villa. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, my gosh. We have Villa. Um... So we could take a villa here just to get an extra card, or we could go ahead and grab an outpost. I think I like grabbing the outpost now. Well, it is... Probably would have preferred to see Cut Purse in this hand so I could buy Villa. But, I mean, I can't activate the Menagerie. I'm just a little worried about, like, if I church both Coppers, the scenario in which I can't buy the Villa. But I guess if I draw two Coppers and I can't activate my other Menagerie, then I can buy. I know I can buy Villa, so I guess it's fine. Alright, do we buy Villa to play the Cut Purse? Yeah, sure. I mean, what are we gonna buy? else are you going to buy? Like, Tracer get another Lighthouse into play? guess so. And I think we want another Menagerie. Um, is it more important to set cards aside or to grab another menagerie? Like, if we set aside too many cards, it becomes harder for our menageries to draw. Although there is the five villa option. But then, like, also, you know, buying another menagerie is good. I, th I think I'm... I think I'm just going to buy the menagerie.
Well, this is actually kind of awkward. Because if we want to buy Villa, we can't trash. Hmm. I mean, we can set aside... No, wait, we don't have the... Yeah, we have the churches. Yeah, never mind. Can't do that. Um, I guess we're probably going to not trash and buy a villa. I think it's too important to be able to draw here. I wonder if we have to... Or if we're going to have to get lighthouses ourselves. Tracer hasn't invested in any attacks, but... Possibility certainly exists. We also do need to be careful about like over relying on Villa to activate Menagerie and then like ending up in a situation where we can't um, continue, but we're pretty far away from that right now at least. I guess we could borrow for Villa and Trash. I wonder if that's worth it. I wonder if that is worth it. Drawing one less card is certainly not great. Trashing is good, though. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Okay, then. Um... Once again, I think I would prefer to buy something. What do we want to buy? There's no attacks coming in right now. Lighthouse is still, like, somewhat useful to us. Um, so, if it dissuades Tracer from investing in attacks... Yeah, I think I will take a lighthouse. It does feel like I'm behind. I think Tracer has thinned more than I have. It seems to already be fully reliable, whereas I am not. Raid? Oh no. Yeah, that works a lot better for the Menagerie deck, that's for sure. The raid. This, I, you know... I could definitely believe that this the Church Crossroads deck is better because of the increased ease of firing payload. Although, it doesn't make any sense for Tracer to raid again, but yeah, Province, that's a pretty good card, I guess. Okay. Um, do we want to buy a villa or do we want to set coppers aside? Might as well do that. That. Um, buying a villa. I think I slightly prefer that. Although, actually, setting aside the coppers is going to help us with the outpost turn. 
All right, let's do that. Okay, so we need more payload and we need some points and it's looking kind of rough. Uh, it'd be nice to have some plunders, but they're probably actually better for Tracer, so that doesn't make sense as a line. Um, we could just go, like, Coven Menagerie. That is a really slow way of ramping payload, though. But... Not sure what else to do. I mean, we could take a silver, I guess, or a gold. We could take gold menagerie. I guess that's better right now, anyway. Ah, well. It's not ideal. Do we buy Villa or do we church copper? Hmm. Think by Villa. Okay, we can potentially do some gain and play now. Um, 10 coins. You can buy like, Silver, Villa, or gold. gold Villa doesn't make sense. Or do we just need to take a province? I don't know how I'm going to ramp my payload while taking provinces, though. And I guess I did buy a Villa, but... Uh... Am I going to want to spend this copper is the other question I'm not sure about. Hmm. Big silver villa, that costs us essentially six coins. Which leaves us with four coins. It's not great. I guess we could take a light. And, uh, and we played the lighthouse this turn. Well, that, I guess it doesn't matter when we play it. Um, or no, maybe we played it last turn. Yeah. So we can take Lighthouse. Lighthouse Villa is effectively five coins. Lighthouse, Lighthouse, Villa. I mean, it's all ramping downwards. And we really need to. I don't know. I feel like I've just lost this game and I should probably just resign it. Tracer can inc improve reliability by greening. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't seem worth playing out. I just think that I'm too far behind and it's getting worse. Church Crossroads, too strong. Kind of amazing, too, that Tracer managed to do that with one villa. Because, like, the crossroads after the first one are terminal. I guess if you, you know, you draw enough with the first level, you can church another one, and you don't actually need to use quite so many actions. All right, so now we're going to be playing the no terminals mix. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So our trashing is upgrade and research. We've got pathfinding, so there's potentially a lot of draw. What we don't have is plus buy. So there is upgrade for additional gains. The utility of that is somewhat limited. There's not like we do have like a four cost dummy to go through that we can and we do have a seven cost dummy that we can go through. So I guess actually upgrade looks pretty good. So hmm. I was thinking about opening research, but now I'm thinking maybe it's like silver, silver, silver experiment. I think silver experiment is more likely to hit five, but less likely to hit double five. That's well, I mean, double five isn't possible with silver experiment unless like triggering a shuffle and getting the five. Maybe could happen. Potion, interesting. Or apothecary. I don't think I want to do that with the limited gains. Definitely going to take one silver. Question is, do I want to take experiment or a second silver? I think I'm going to go with the experiment. Okay, so we already hit five here. The question is, do we want to play this experiment? I mean, we trigger a more favorable shuffle if we do, so I think the answer is yes. All right, I want another upgrade. It might actually be better here to trash copper over trashing estate. Well, no, we can trash estate into experiments. Never mind. Never mind. We do have a silver in our deck. So it could be correct to take a merchant. Um, like, we're going to need some money. But then again, hitting the upgrades faster. Yeah, let's go with another experiment. Yeah, Tracer's plan may just be to like rush to province, single province, with the apothecaries. This one, I think I, well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we're going to, I guess that we are going to need some money. Feels a little bit overkill to get more experiments right now. But then again, We're gonna like blow through them all right now. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems like the tempo is just too hard to pass up. Okay, we did just take two more experiments. Maybe we can take a merchant here. Then what are we buying for eight? If I had if I had anything good in my deck, I could pathfind. I guess I could pathfind the upgrades, but um hmm. This is tricky. I'm also wondering if I want a coven. I can also ultimately upgrade the coven into a gold, into a bank, into a province. That'll take forever, though. But like the curses will probably stick, and there's no gains to speak of. 
Um, we're going to start ripping through our coppers here. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a merchant. I'm really not confident in this. Although, if I'm going to take the coven, why am I taking the merchant? Yeah, crap. Ugh. This is hard. I wonder if we are going to end up wanting to just straight up buy a bank. If there was some plus buy on this board, man. Man, oh man. All right, well, we know we don't have any. States left, so we might as well just trash some coppers. Get to play the coven. Um, so. We've played two experiments. We have another experiment down there. We could grab a lab. Right now. It's probably better than going for a bank, right? Like, we are going to need to draw cards. It's really hard to say, though. Really hard to say. Oh no, you're fighting back? Do that. Going for province? No, path, oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we are gonna need some more payload. We know we have another experiment down there. We also have like, if we draw experiment copper here, that's going to be pretty sad. I was like, I'm thinking right now, like, we need, we need a payload card. I mean, what we could do is take a treasure trove. That's a bit dicey, but... It would, allow, it would give us, like we would be able to upgrade gold into bank and bank into province. We'd have, we'd have the ability to trash out the coppers. <laughs> Play the experiment and buy a bank straight up. Yeah, I think, actually I'm gonna go with the treasure trove. This might be too spicy, but
Might be too spicy. It might be that we actually need a third upgrade to make this work, but hopefully we can make it work with two. Ocean into another coven would be pretty reasonable for Tracer. A lab would also be reasonable, like to draw the cards that the Apothecary doesn't pick up. Hmm. Okay. I was kind of assuming Tracer was going to province this turn, but I guess not. Huh. Okay. I was definitely feeling the pressure. All right. Um, do you want to go ahead and play the experiment? I think so. Well... We're not gonna not upgrade copper, right? So okay, so we've got oh, the two cards we have down there are treasure trove and another no, another experiment. Um, so the question is, do we want to play the treasure trove? Um, we don't. <laughs> I mean, we could do that by the lab and have slightly lost net draw, but we will have the gold in our deck. And gold, gold, silver, silver, wait, sorry, golds. No, actually, we would be one coin short of hitting province anyway. Assuming we... Oh, wait, the Coven. That's where the two coins is coming from. Right, so Coven, Silver, Gold, Treasure Trove is province. We could trash the two coppers. Okay. At some point, then we stop playing the Treasure Trove. But yeah, for now, I think we want to play it and take a lab. And now we're ready to province. I think. I mean, we're going to still run into draw problems as we add green to our deck. But, I don't know. Maybe we can find a solution. Tracer has all the apothecaries, which is going to obviously, with pathfinding, add some reliability. And I don't... Not sure if I can compete with that. Really? Another apothecary? Huh. I really thought... Obviously playing the Coven. Question is, do we want to go ahead and buy Province this turn? Or do we want to buy another lab? I mean, I guess we could also buy Pathfinding. That doesn't... I guess that does increase our draw more than the than lab does. Um, cards down there are Lab and Treasure Trove. 
We do have curse the curse advantage right now. So if we're and we're second player, so we can afford to province second. Facer does have a bank that he can upgrade into province though. Um. Oh boy. Like we might actually want to not play the treasure trove so that we can draw back around like upgrade gold gold draw back around a bank upgrade that again sort of thing i don't know it's tricky but i think i think it's better to take the lab not have to play the treasure trove right now Don't understand how Tracer how Tra Oh, did Tracer upgrade Coven? That's why. Okay. Well that will help. Tracer does granted have a third upgrade, so you know, we could end up in a situation where we're outgained, but hopefully. Whoa. Okay, there's the Yeah. There's the that. Okay, now it's on, and we did want to upgrade this gold into a bank. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we need to, unfortunately, we're we're gonna be relying on the the cursing to make up the tempo loss that I have from not being able to both buy province and upgrade into province here. Unless what we want to do is upgrade the bank into province and not buy province, which is an option. We could buy another laboratory. By another upgrade. Hmm. Upgrading silver is going to take too long. Double upgrading silver into coven it doesn't really do much because there's three curses left and we don't actually ever spill the curses. Um, I think. Upgrading the bank is better than not because, like, given that we're going to get one province either way, we add fewer stop cards. I think we go ahead and do this. And then we buy a lab. And next turn, now that we have the additional gold. No, oh, that's not even true. Is it? We gained... We have four coins from this. The, the gold gives us seven. The treasure trove gives us eight, nine, but only if we're not upgrading a bank, or a gold into bank, bank into province. So we need another gold. Well, we had the draw for it this turn, so I guess that's what we do is take a gold. Yeah, I think I, putting aside the question of whether Tracer's overall strategy is better than mine, I think I've slightly misplayed this. Like I think I over-trashed a little bit earlier to not be able to hit the double province. Good news is it looks like Tracer kind of dudded. I don't quite understand how that's possible, but... Um, the bad news is that if I take double province, then Tracer wins on double province. So as so long as Tracer can hit single province here, he's actually still in a pretty strong position. But he can't. Okay. Well.
Um, right. So we want to upgrade. Hmm. I do want to take the second province now, I think. And I guess we don't have to. Like, what if we upgrade both golds into banks? We wouldn't have to play the treasure trove. We wouldn't have to add the additional stop cards. We will have to play the experiment, but I guess that's fine. Well, either way, we want to do this. Right? And this. Um, yeah, basically the question is, do we trash copper? Wait, why did I... Why did I do it this way? I mean, I, I, why did I do this? I wasn't supposed to play the upgrade yet, necessarily. Uh, we don't. Damn it. I really screwed this up. Okay, what if I. If I don't play the treasure trove, I can buy a province without gaining both gold and copper. I trash the experiment instead into, or no wait, trash the gold into a bank. That was the thing I was talking about, Never mind. And then I don't need to play the treasure trove. Right, right, okay. I just totally forgot what I was doing. Um, we don't want to play the treasure trove. Although maybe we need to. Coven gives us we have two. We have five coins. We have seven coins. I guess we do need to play the treasure trove if we're going to upgrade both banks. At least we're going to threaten to. We might not have the draw for that, but. I think that's what we have to do. Of course, if Tracer takes two provinces, then it doesn't necessarily matter. Like, we don't need to hit three, but having the threat, I think, is good. Tracer does have the third upgrade. It's possible Tracer can triple. Uh oh. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's probably lights out. Um. Ah, damn it! What does it look like for me to come back here? Like, I need so many duchies now. If I get the last province, I'm at sixteen. Tracer takes another curse and is at twenty six. I need three duchies if I give them both curses. But I don't have anything to up. I have a. I do have a silver that I can upgrade, so I can take double duchy this turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's just freaking spectacular. <laughs> Whatever. I guess I might as well buy the damn duchy. Ugh, damn it. Mm. I wonder if I could have avoided this or if the apothecary line was just better, was just too much better. The tracer wise one duchy though. Like how do I even deal with that? Yeah, I I'm just sunk. Wait, what?
Okay, we need to... Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Upgrade this silver into... Doesn't really matter what. I guess we'll say research. Um, can we even play this upgrade? What's down there? And gold into bank isn't going to hurt anything. We draw another gold. If we draw a province, though. We don't have a province. If we draw a duchy. We have to go. We'd have to play the treasure. We can upgrade the treasure trove. I guess that's fine. Okay. I mean, surely Tracer just wins this turn, but... But I guess we might as well see it through since there's... won't take very long. Yeah, there's a duchy. I guess it's maybe still possible I can get out of this mess. Probably not, but... Oh, well. Uh, is, um, that, I don't know, it felt close, I'm not sure how close it actually was, I mean, maybe, uh, maybe if I'd played that slightly differently, I could have won, but I it did feel like Tracer's strategy was just better. Um, it's almost like, weirdly enough, the lack of gains helped Tracer. Like, yeah, I was thinking Apothecary, like, you buy Apothecary, you can't buy anything else. The same goes for like lab or whatever except that lab costs five and i didn't always have five to buy a lab <laughs> or like i mean i at a certain point i did but like very early in the game of course he was it's not like he had the potion in hand every turn but very early in the game you know i had some hands where i was buying um like experiment the other the other thing i'm wondering about is like if i had taken the one merchant that i was considering taking Picking, would that have been better? I did spend a long time not playing that um that um that one experiment. So like but although the you know, that was game later than I was really thinking about taking merchants. But the nice thing about the merchant would have been like I have coven silver gold and then I can play merchant to hit province without needing to like get another one of those other treasures into play. Um, it just makes the math work out a little bit better. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that would have been, like, if I would have been hurt by not having the experiments available to, to like, find my upgrades and stuff. And then, yeah, there's still the, so the question of, like, that I actually over trash with my upgrades. Like I trashed down to like seven ish coins in my deck. Um, and then played the treasure trove. And it I if I hid um if I had kept Well, keeping copper wouldn't have really made much difference, but I was like a little bit short of maybe it would have even. I was a little bit short of hitting double province that one turn. And 
ended up doing kind of an awkward thing. Although the fact that Tracer managed to get the triple might have been like too much for me to overcome regardless. But um Yeah, I don't know. It's it was certainly an interesting line that Tracer took. Like kept a lot of copper. I mean, some of that was from playing Treasure Trove, but I guess Tracer never upgraded copper. I would I would guess that that's the case that Tra Tracer took well, Tracer played Treasure Trove more than three times. They probably did upgrade. Because it, cause it, I know he upgraded gold to bank like twice ish. So he probably, probably tra played Treasure Trove on the order of five times. Um, not entirely sure, but. Uh, Something like that, but basically wasn't trashing copper. Um, there was a lot of like trash experiment into potion, trash potion into something. Um, and that does work well with experiment because you get two of them, so you can still play the other one as an actual experiment and like be like kind of making some progress through your deck. Uh, yeah. Like, if I had managed to keep my last experiment around, I mean, I mean it didn't really, it, it wasn't going to matter once he had the, tri the triple province turn, but could have gotten another duchy. Um, but it would have taken a while anyway, especially with me only having two upgrades to his three. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I will be wrapping up Mix Mix shortly, hopefully. Um, I I guess I'm probably still in contention to advance just because like a 2-2 two, two, and 1-3 if I go like 4-0 like depending on what the rest of the group is doing you know it, it might be really close but um seems unlikely that I'm going to go 4-0 against another really strong player so well, whatever um until next time